Hello video editors. Welcome to Solly Tutorials, where we are thrilled to present a comprehensive tutorial series on Adobe Premiere Pro, the industry-leading video editing software. In this complete tutorial for beginners, we will take you on a step-by-step -step journey, unlocking the power of Premiere Pro and equipping you with the essential skills to create stunning videos like a pro. Whether you're new to video editing or looking to enhance your existing knowledge, this series is designed to empower you with the tools and techniques you need to bring your creative vision to life. So, let's dive in and unlock the full potential of Premiere Pro together. Downloading Premiere Pro The first step is to download Premiere Pro. You can do this from the Adobe website. Once you're on the website, click on the free trial button. When you click on the free trial button, you will be taken to the choose plan page. Here you can choose three types of plan. Individuals, teams and students and teachers plan. If you choose annual, paid monthly plan and individuals. So this will cost you $20.99 per month. If you choose annual, prepaid plan and individuals. So this will cost you $239.88 per year. If you choose only monthly plan and individuals. So this will cost you $31.99 per month. So choose any of these plans according to your choice. After choosing a plan, check on the small icon below. This means that you will get a 7-day free trial of Adobe stock. And then click on continue button below. After that, you need to sign in to access Adobe products. If you do not have an account, then you must create a new account. So for that, enter your email address here. And then click on continue button. Then enter your password here. And click on continue button. After signing in, a page will open for you to enter payment information. Yes, first you have to select your payment method. You will be given many payment methods. You can choose your credit or debit card as payment method. You can also continue to pay through Google Pay and PayPal. When your 7-day trial is over, you will be charged according to your chosen plan. After you enter your payment method information, then click the Agree and Subscribe button. After that you will be open the Premiere Pro free download page, and you will be able to download the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Installing Premiere Pro I have Premiere Pro Setup already downloaded. To install it, right-click on Setup. And then click Open to run the installer. This is the setup I have of Adobe Premiere Pro Latest Version 23.2. Yes. First of all we have to choose the language. I select English North America by default. Below that, the option to change the installation location is also given. Where do you want to install it on your computer? I choose default location here. And after that, click on the continue button. So now we're just waiting for Adobe Premiere Pro to install. This might take a few minutes. It may take about 3 to 4 minutes to install. Launch Premiere Pro. When Premiere Pro is installed, click the launch button to continue. You've now successfully installed Adobe Premiere Pro. You can start using it to create your own professional looking videos. Creating a new project. Now I'm going to show you how to create a new project in Premiere Pro. This is a quick and easy process, and it's something that you'll need to do every time you start a new project. Click on the new project button to create a new project. Name your project. In the new project dialog box, give your project a name. You can also choose a location to save your project. Once you've named your project and chosen a location to save it, click on the Create button. Your project will now be created and you'll be ready to start editing. That's how you create a new project in Premiere Pro. Understanding the interface When you first open Premiere Pro, you'll see a few different panels open by default. These panels include the Timeline, Project Panel, Source Monitor, and Program Monitor. The Timeline is where you'll assemble your video clips, and audio clips into a sequence. The Project Panel is where you can view all of the media files that are part of your project. The Source Monitor is where you can view the video and audio for a clip that is selected in the Project Panel. The Program Monitor is where you can view the current state of your sequence. 
In addition to these default panels, there are a number of other panels that you can open as needed. Importing Media Now I'll show you how to import video, audio, and image files into Premiere Pro, and how to organize your media in the project panel. To import media into Premiere Pro, go to File Menu, and click on Import button. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus I on Windows or Command plus I on Mac. When you click on the Import Media button, a file browser will open. Use this file browser to navigate to the folder where your media files are stored. Once you've found the files you want to import, select them and click on the Open button. Premiere Pro will import the selected files into the project panel. The project panel is where you'll store all of your media files for your project. Organizing media in the project panel. The project panel you will see various small icons, each of these icons have separate and different functions. Freedom view, the freedom view allows you to visually organize your assets and create storyboards with your media. Icon view, the icon view displays a thumbnail of each asset in the project panel. List view, the list view displays detailed information about each asset in the project panel. Adjust the size of icons and thumbnail. You can adjust the size of the icons and thumbnails in the project panel to make them easier to see. The easiest way to import files into the project panel is to double-click the project panel and go to the folder on your computer where you have the files. Select the files. I selected some music. After selecting click on open button. So those files will also be imported into your project panel. I also import some photos in the same way. When you double click a video, audio, or photo in Premiere Pro's project panel, it gives you a preview in the source panel. This preview allows you to see what the media looks like before you add it to a sequence. You can play and stop the preview by clicking the play and stop button in the bottom middle of the source panel, or by pressing the spacebar on your keyboard. The preview is used to help you identify and select the media files you want to use in your project. To rename files in the project panel, right-click the file and then click rename. Type the name you want to give the file and press enter. To move files from one place to another in the project panel, simply click the file and drag and drop it from one place to another within the project panel. You can move multiple files. Once a file is moved, it will appear in the new location in the project panel. Switching workspaces. Now I'll show you how to switch between workspaces, and I'll also give you a brief overview of each one. To switch workspaces in Premiere Pro, click on the window tab at the top of the screen. Then click on Workspaces. A list of all the available workspaces will appear. Workspaces are predefined layouts of panels in Premiere Pro. Click on the workspace you want to switch to. Editing. This is the default workspace, and it's designed for basic editing tasks. It includes the source monitor, program monitor, timeline, and project panel. Audio. This workspace is designed for audio mixing. It includes the audio mixer panel, the Effect Controls panel, and the Timeline. Color This workspace is designed for color grading. It includes the Lumetri Color panel, the Effect Controls panel, and the Timeline. Captions and Graphics this workspace is designed for creating and editing graphics. It includes the Essential Graphics panel, the Effect Controls panel, and the Timeline. Customizing your workspace. You can customize your workspace by dragging and dropping panels to different locations on the screen. To drag a panel to a new location, simply click and hold the title bar of the panel, and then drag it to the desired location. To hide or show a panel, click on the window menu and select the name of the panel. If the panel is checked, it will be visible. If the panel is unchecked, it will be hidden. You can resize panels in Premiere Pro by dragging the edges of the panel. To resize a panel, 
simply hover your mouse over the edge of the panel until you see a double-headed arrow. Then, drag the edge of the panel to the desired size. You can resize any panel in Premiere Pro, including the Project Panel, Timeline Panel, and Effects Panel. Saving your project. It is important to save your project frequently, especially if you are working on a large project. Premiere Pro will automatically save your project every few minutes, but it is always a good idea to save manually as well. If you do not save your project and Premiere Pro crashes or your computer shuts down, you will lose all of your work. So to save the project, go to the File menu. And then click Save as or Save. Then select the location on your computer where you want to save the project. And then click the Save button. Congratulations! You've completed Chapter 1 of the Premiere Pro Complete Tutorial. In this chapter, you learned how to install Premiere Pro, create a new project, import media files, understand the interface, switch workspaces, and save your project. Stay tuned for Chapter 2, where we'll dive deeper into editing techniques and features.